Welcome to another beautiful day here at Mills Motors located at 240 Bond Street East in Oshawa. Today we're having a look at the 2016 Verano sedan shown here in the very nice Quicksilver Metallic and under the hood you'll find a 2.4 liter four-cylinder SIDI dock engine with six-speed automatic transmission. Taking a look at the inside of the vehicle now, the upholstery is a combination of both cloth and leather. And just down here, the controls for the eight-way power adjustable driver's seat, including lumbar. On the driver's side door, there is some storage space at the bottom here, as well as this beautiful wood grain trim. And just behind that are some controls, which include window locks, power windows. And moving up here, we have the power lock and unlock and power mirror controls. Just left of the steering wheel, these are the exterior light controls. And down below that, there is some storage space for the driver. On the left hand side of the steering wheel, these are the cruise controls here. And just behind that are the indicators. And now moving to the right hand side of the steering wheel, these are stereo controls and there's also hands-free communication. And looking behind that, we have the wipers. And moving to this color touch screen here, uh, so this will display many options that the vehicle has to offer. So this vehicle is connected to AM, FM, and XM radio. There are also multiple ways you can connect a mobile device to listen to some music from that. So these include USB, auxiliary, YouTube, and Bluetooth. Moving down from there, there's a few buttons down here. So we have the traction control button, as well as hazard lights, and the trunk release. The set of buttons below that control the screen up above and control the stereo system. So this dial on the top will turn the stereo system on and off and control the volume. This dial down below will help you navigate the menu or choose a radio station. This home button will take you to this main screen with all of the options displayed. And this source button will help you switch quickly and easily between AM, FM, and XM radios. Moving below that, there is a CD player. And then we have the temperature controls. So this vehicle is equipped with dual climate zones in the front seat. So using this dial to control the driver seat temperature and this dial to control the passenger seat temperature, I can show you up on the screen here how I can have the driver seat temperature set to, uh, let's say, 16 and the passenger seat temperature set to, let's say, 27. So it just makes for a more comfortable drive for both the passenger and the driver. As well, this button in the center here will control the fan speed. There is also front and rear window defrost. Also, both the driver seat and the passenger seat can be heated, which is, of course, very nice in the cold winter season. Moving below that, there is some storage space as well as an auxiliary power outlet over on the right here. Now moving back in between the seats, there's some more storage space as well just here is the electronic parking brake. And behind that, there are two cup holders and then we have this center armrest, which does extend nicely between the seats or it opens up and exposes some more storage space down, in, um, down below. There's also a USB port and an auxiliary input. Taking a look at the passenger side of the vehicle now, there's a glove box located just down here with plenty of storage space. And of course, some storage space on the passenger side door. This beautiful wood grain trim once again, leading up to the power lock and unlock. And just behind it are the power window controls. Have a look at those very nice 17 inch aluminum wheels as we make our way to the back of the vehicle now. And located just at the bottom here is the color backup camera, which displays its picture on the screen inside the vehicle. And this is a very handy feature, especially when you're trying to back into some of those tighter spaces in a busy parking lot. So to open up this trunk now, there's a trunk release button located inside the vehicle. There is also a trunk release button located right here on the key fob. So simply make sure that the vehicle is unlocked and then press and hold that trunk release button and it will pop open for you. Taking a look inside now, there is plenty of storage space to work with. As well, there are hooks on the left and right hand side of the trunk, making it very easy to attach a net or rope to keep things in place back here. There is a hook on the right hand, sorry, a handle on the right hand side up here when you're ready to close this trunk up. So simply grab a hold of that, pull downwards, and the trunk will close quite nicely. Taking a look at the rear passenger side door now, there is some storage space at the bottom here, as well as this beautiful wood grain trim and the power window controls. Inside the back seat, there is plenty of storage space located behind both the passenger seat and the driver's seat as well. Behind the center console, there is an auxiliary power outlet as well as some more storage space down at the bottom there. And as I turn around, you can see that this back seat does fit three people quite comfortably. However, if no one is in that center seat, you can simply pull on this handle and down comes the center folding armrest with two cup holders, which makes for a very comfortable and convenient drive for the people in the back. 
What a fantastic vehicle both inside and out and it just keeps getting better as this vehicle is equipped with the safety and connectivity of OnStar. It also has its own 4G LTE hotspot which means you can connect your mobile devices to Wi-Fi while in the vehicle which makes some of those longer journeys seem just a little bit shorter. So ladies and gentlemen, once again, this is the 2016 Verano sedan shown here in the gorgeous Quicksilver Metallic. And under the hood, you'll find a 2.4 liter four cylinder SIDI dock engine with six speed automatic transmission. If you would like to test drive this vehicle, we are located at 240 Bond Street East in Oshawa. And we would be very happy to show you that we will do whatever it takes.